you guys are excited to watch me play a new game. Because I'm really excited to play this one. trying to get all this stuff to work right right now. Oh, no fucking wonder. No fucking wonder it's not working. Hold on. Boop. I don't even have this set up correctly. There we go. pretty excited to play this one. I'm actually probably gonna go get my PS4 controller so I can play this. Give me a sec, I'll be right back guys. Quiet night. I've got my new wet detective to play. I'm gonna get a little spooky up in here. I don't have an appropriate lighting set up to have maximum spooky atmosphere, but we'll make do with what we've got. cable out of the way so you guys don't complain at me. Let's go ahead and start that new game. I got my Pocky. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Massachusetts. So it turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city, drowning, in the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment, and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes van der Berg. Mm. Spatial displacement. How fun.
Aw, oh, man. Trust a tourist advertisement. That's the thing I read earlier. Some coil springs, how nice. Take your belongings off my ship first. Oh, jeez. I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Oh, this man has serious grizzled protagonist syndrome. Oh, you know what? I should take a picture first. Now get out! Oh, jeez. At last. Mr. Charles Reed, what a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean mm. so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more... I love how wet this game is. It's wet as fuck. You know, since we're playing a Cthulhu game, we gotta make sure people know where I stand when it comes to Cthulhu. Cultist attires. Grab my phone real quick so I can look at my phone. All right. Back to it. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I made a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Green. Hmm. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? What? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club. 
for the like-minded philosophy club gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame Zokmar really have much of a market for philosophy these days there is no conscience what a spicy tongue private eye no better moment for clarity than times of hardship times of hardship indeed this man is soaked to the bone in Cthulhu juice. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds peace. Alright. Only the most flavorful seafood. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Hmm. Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Hmm. Those fish face freaks have overrun the city since the H.P. Lovecraft racism. Around. Everyone's favorite. Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The poor. Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they're a big stinking pile of trouble. It's crazy to think that if you'd read the books or the short stories, I've heard you're the man to speak to about. You know exactly what's going on with Throgmorton. Hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouthor ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Oh, because uh, Throgmorton is sort of like half ape, half human. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. Yeah, I mean, he explains it right there, really. What makes yeah, you it's sort of it's sort of like that. It. It's a frogwares game. It's not exactly friendly to new arrivals. 
Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Fair enough. You have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. Uh, yeah, yeah. See. Thank you. I, I love Frogware games. I think they're they're dripping with personality. Did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in the lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Hmm, very demanding. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see them. Ah, this dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Everybody loves a dog. Generally better than themselves, the I would think. damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. The book is damp and damaged, okay. but clearly well cared for. Wet. Very, very wet. Fish. A bunch of fish. Oh, gross. It's probably where they, like, drain the fish. Yeah, it is where they drain the fish. You guys ever been to like a cannery? It smells so fucking bad. Huh. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Hello? Hey. Oh yeah, also. I'm drinking a uh, CBD oil water right now. Who are you? Are you police? I already told them everything. That's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry mm. was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Throgmorton's son. He was unconscious. Barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. My head began to burst. And he woke up. And... After that, I don't remember a thing. Just... Dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant. A voice that called me... Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was at or starve. Hmm. Who is this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. That's weird. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. K be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. I'm starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Hey, have mercy on his soul. 
Unfortunately, I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, Detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Choo-choo. Ahem. <clears throat> How clever of you to say choo choo when you see a train. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Five cards short of a full house. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Activate your detective superpowers. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Choo choo. <clears throat> Surely there must be something else to look at in here. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. like this before. Masterful work. Okay. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. All right, I guess it's time to check downstairs. damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Am I missing something? I don't think I am. Oh, wait. There it is. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing let alone tossing it over like this. There we go. Now I use my retrocognitive powers. What's happening? Take this, ape face. Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. 
He attacked the fisherman, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. All right, that makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and put together all this stuff. Smelther, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgs Mortons. There could be reason to hate them. Albert Throgmorton spread some sort of psychic influence which made everybody suffer hysteria. Albert and a fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after a fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. All right. Oh, that's gross. What the fuck? Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Albert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Gunpowder. Bullets are really scarce in this game, so like whenever you get gunpowder, it's a big deal. There's something in the pocket. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel coming soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. First-person shooters, guys. Oh, gross. 
one fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Damn. Get bodied. may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. Lewis, the Innsmouther that killed Albert Throgmorton may be hiding at the bar in Oakmont Port. bullets so that's unfortunate the bar should be over on the right somewhere so I need to head over there under the keel bar Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Welcome to Under the Kill. What do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chances here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Robert Throgmorton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't want me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I ain't done nothing. Tell that to Mr. Throckmorton. No. No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. Here's the key. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Damn. Bye. Why don't you be nice to me, buddy? I don't need all that. Just give me, give me, give me a what little the, bit of. Get them! Oh. Just leave me alone. I will, I will be nice to you. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. 
first thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Mm. Turns out, I was right. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary had gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, I can't remember a thing. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers mm. and the Throg Mortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes what do you guys think? From the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for So that's an Innsmouth there. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting yeah, up Yeah, he is a straight up fish man. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? So you're a newcomer, huh? I'm not gonna shoot him. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition, reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reed, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer He does look kind of like a meth addict, doesn't he? I still have a few bullets on me. It turns out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started, and my lips are sealed. I knew you'd understand. Here you are, Mr. Reed. Yeah, he gave me some bullets, I guess. Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try to cover for him or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. Oh yeah, no, I have. Have you seen the actual The Color Out of Space that was made with a uh, Nicolas Cage? The other like it just was like it was like a recently released movie. I did. And let me tell you something, it was crazy. No, The Color Out of Space. Hold on. What? No, this one doesn't suck. It was great. I love this movie. It was fucking wild. 
dream. You're wrong. It was so good. No, it wasn't awful. It had a great Nicolas Cage performance. And then everything just blew up. Big flash. Like yeah, Mandy was great. I'm not gonna say Mandy wasn't great. But I like that movie, and you're wrong. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, I mean, yes, Annihilation was an objectively better movie. Son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? Just as I suspected, the Innsmouth or Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Oh, that's uh, Al uh, Albert Throgmorton. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kate, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to a boat? I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness, all linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source as above, so below. So mm -hmm. I sent men to find out. You remember as above, so below? You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened defied scientific explanation. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giants, drowned streets, and a voice calming from the depths. Her mm -hmm. words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? Where are the others? Do you think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to... Oh, the yeah, that's right. In this game... Bullets mean more than... Bullets means. are money. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? 
I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all. You yeah, have it's sort of like ripped off Metro a little bit. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Yay! Go ahead and look at my case book. At the crossroad of Asher Road and Hubert Avenue. Asher Road and Hubert Avenue. Neat. All right. Now let's go explore this wet ass city. How fucking wet it is here. Your drawers will never be clean in this place. Man, I'm all out of pocky. Facial displacement. I get it. Yes, America's going into Cthulhu's mouth. It's a sign of the apocalypse. Lost at sea, Robert Frog Morton funded an expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria gripping Oakmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Oakmont. Contact with the expedition was soon lost. Robert, or Albert Frog Morton, was the only known survivor. He was subsequently murdered. I was hired to find any other expedition members, dead or alive. Frog Morton will be waiting for my report in his manor in Southern Old Grove. Two pad comes back. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. Indeed. I don't know ex what exactly sank the USS Cyclops. Only remember the screams and the metal creaking, water filling the deck, and my headache. The worst I've ever had. I found myself among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of boat helped me survive and reached the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half-mad, and babbling about ancient ruins and their denizens. The officials said none of what I thought I'd seen was real, but my memories are true. My strange powers gained after that ordeal prove it. I found something horrible on that island, something old, dark, and slithering, and it still haunts me. Ooh, cloth physics. Never again, they say. Into the anus of Inn's mouth? I'm sure soon. Ooh, laudanum. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. A dram of laudanum. The number of attacks on Inn's mouth immigrants has increased. Raids are intensifying, with more and more Inn's mouthers exposed to abuse and assault. Sometimes whole families are found dead in their homes. Police are on the case, with several illegal Innsmouther businesses captured 
and their owners sent to jail. The city ought to have been cleansed of this fish-faced scum long ago, said Robert Throgmorton, head of the Throgmorton Grand Family. I regret only one thing. It all started too late. Had we not neglected our civic duties, my son Albert would be here with us. Mr. Reed, it seems that you overexerted yourself while conducting the investigation for Mr. Throgmorton. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time. I know, right? That's some ego on that man. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you, though. Mister, you want to stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Noise? What, what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. <laughs> this poorly it hidden stops, fish man. All right? I don't think he's trying to hide the fact that he's a fish man. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well, next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. Yay. Well, I'm going to turn this up a bit so you guys can hear it better. I'm watching you, newcomer. Crab. Walter, K help you if you hear you peddling your cheap, affordable living again. I could live with you renting out beast-ridden flop houses, but you're cutting them to my profit. Don't make that mistake again. I know you're on the fish market, and I have a dangerous people living here that I can send after you. You've been warned. Vic. Terrible fetus. Yeah, that was one of the letters, wasn't it? Oh look, they have a they have a dedicated statue for Jaws. Alright, where am I going? Going up here. So I just need to head north. You just realized? What Hideo Kojima game? What are you talking about? There can't already be a new Kojima game. Let me out. I wanna get out. Oh, you're not gonna let me out? Trash. Oh yeah, Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus. Yo, that's gonna be lit. That's gonna be like the best way to play that game. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna really enjoy that game then. Oh whoops. Let's see if I can turn this. Oh, it's already all on high. A fucking whale. Speaking of fucking Death Stranding, there's a goddamn whale in the middle of this thing. Gotta get your slurm. 
Oh yeah, I will tell you one thing about Death Stranding, dude. Death Stranding is a slow game, baby. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister. The game is slow as fuck, dude. Well, yeah, apparently there was a big ass flood. I mean, ever since then, it's been like everything's destroyed. Officer with mutton shops, right there. Wait, is this it? No, that can't be it. This is the police headquarters, but I don't need to go there yet. It's like over here on the left. Damn, dude, chill. Yeah, there it is. That has to be it, right? The diving club. Guess I don't need the key. Divers with the bends can suffer from numerous symptoms, including pain, impaired movement, nausea, vomiting, and disorientation. Someone smashed it beyond repair. Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes its newest addition to its ranks, Professor Harriet Doe. Her brilliant discoveries on the origin of Inuit tribes has added a new page to the history book of humanity. Now Professor Doe will embark on a new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood, and in doing so, shed light on what may yet be to come. These samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. L. Sullivan and B. Morgan local fishermen report numerous large bubbles and an unbearable stench rising from the bottom of the sea. Brought a sample of a weird substance floating from the ocean from J. Harway. He claims he found it among numerous dead and strangely deformed fish that fish were taken for analysis. Interesting. It's the color out of space. Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. Interesting. Oh. 
Partially burnt cargo manifest. One thing of pain, no later than Friday, Mark 5 diving suits, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Ah. Well, damn. You fucked, mate. Guess this helmet's beyond repair. Hmm. Guess so, buddy. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, looks like there's anything else. Oh, Batman detective time. Time to pick it. Stand back. Grab the papers. Smash the rest. I fata me a fe I regach I dagon. Sure, you get the adverts. Time to figure this out. Retrocognition power. No, we don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Grab the papers, smash the rest. I fatal me a fee. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Let's go to... it off. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Yo, this detective's neck is stiff as they come, my dude. papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warmth. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll, uh... Be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Do you still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but tell our reader something more. Yes, about give us the juicy deets. 
I'm a former Navy diver. Served on the USS Cyclops, and well, after the war, I found myself in Boston. I've been a private eye ever since. Oh, a brave sailor. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but we were much more concerned with the Flood. Though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. And maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. See you later. Alright, let's pull up this archive. Where's the flood? Advertisements. There we go. The 30 ton ship Titania is currently available for hire. You will find it fully equipped for transport as well as the aiding of underwater ventures and exploration. The price of 70 rifle bullets are the equivalent thereof per week. Those interested are urged to contact Captain Jeremiah Sanders for contracting details. It can be found at Pier 3 Oakmont Port, Grimhaven Bay.
not Burbank's ice cream and soda. That was my favorite ice cream and soda place. Got a dash shark. Just go straight at this point, I'll get to where I need to go. Run the cycle, dude. Stand up to them. Please help me. What? What creatures? What are you talking about? Wild beasts. They came to feast on the blood. They're eating the dead. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? Uh, I saw Sanders. Help me. I'll tell you, I'll tell what, you I what I know. Oh, jeez, man. I don't like dealing with m, -m, -m, -m monsters Get fucking wrecked, mate. every chamber. Ah, oh, still stinks of burnt powder. I see. Shot dead. Point blank. Oh, no. Spooky. Ah, oh, the monsters sure didn't leave behind much. Gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. Ah, my fragile mental state. They were in high spirits, and plenty of them were drinking. I see, I see. This would be a weird artifact in any collection. Spooky, scary. I, Captain Jeremiah Sanders, hereby agree to take on board my vessel Titania, any persons designated by Robert Throgmorton, and the cargo detailed in the attached manifest, as well as provide any and all necessary assistance, up to and including depth measurements, timing support, and confidential locations of Cod Bay. 
Afterwards, a titanium crew transport for all passengers to the Oakland port. Compensation will be 70 bullets. Cape Cod. No marks here, but they've been erased. Well. No more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rum? Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. No more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't a to the mayor with you. Ugh. Ugh. You can't. Take me! Eat this man this. got axed. For whatever reason, the crew went for Zerk. Only one man got away. No. Go away, spooky visions. With the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. This Sanders, what kind of man is he? Uh, newcomer. Seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. Treated his crew well. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away, just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh, did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made it back. I see. Interesting. This spot on the map. I'm guessing he's probably gonna be like right there. <laughs> Gross, that man's dying of consumption. Johns are getting real wet right now. Doctor Skegel and Tane.
Dagon and Kulu Fatag. That's what everybody sounds like when they play this game. Patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A uh, visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? The usual. Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Uh, did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. That's news to me, Doc. Sounds serious. Hmm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental medical program? Experimental medicine. Well, I guess it can't be any worse than the asylum in Boston. Count me in. <laughs> I'm delighted to hear that, Mr. Uh, uh, Reed. Charles Reed. Mr. Reed, take these pills with some water. They're a potent measure against parasites. Contact me when you feel improvement. Oh, damn. That didn't seem to help him at all. Hallucinate super hard. What the hell did you give me, Doc? Is something wrong? You seem perfectly healthy to me. Your medicine blinded me. And then he gave me these visions. Worse than a blow to the head. What are you trying to pull? Intriguing. These side effects are a new development. I'll have to run some more tests. Let me know if anything else happens, won't you? I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other, the vomiting humanoids. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Bye. So formal. Bye.
Sweet. He is in fact here. Do you know, I think I'm gonna leave it at this for now. I actually enjoyed streaming this, so let me save real quick. And I will return to stream more of this tomorrow. Thanks for coming through, guys. I'll see you later.